Hello everybody, Sift here again with an Arbor Tier 1 and today I'll be playing the late game king, the king, who starts with 50 luck, this is so you go into the late game as fast as possible, he gets 25% damage and attack speed for every tier 4 weapon you have, that means he's gonna become super bust in the late game with 150% of both of these, and he also gets a little bit of a bonus, 5% max HP for every different tier 4 item, like who cares, and then the downsides are the opposite of the upsides, as always, 15% damage and 50% attack speed loss for every tier 1 weapon you have, so that means we want to combine them as fast as humanly possible and then two max hp for every different tier one item you have is what you lose but this is different so you can buy a couple of tier one items and then just stack them as many times as possible now normally i would say we go for sword because medieval hurpa durpa let's go for the thematic build but nope we're gonna go ghost x we're gonna go thematic build but the thematic element is scaling we're gonna scale to infinite we're gonna be super duper late game king not just late game game the god late game king and let's go let's go for stage 50 coins this is gonna be obvious if it's a good one, if I get 56 coins or 57 or in general a lot more than 50 in the first stage. I mean a lot more is literally not possible unless I find 5 trees or something crazy, which I'm not seeing happening. So I got one more smack to get, boop, and we got 53 plus 3, ah, maybe on the lower end of things. I would like to get harvesting or luck here in the early game, so um, you know what, I'm gonna get 3 max life, whatever. We found duck, we found another ghost axe, another ghost scepter. We're gonna first buy the ghost scepter, and I'm gonna say we buy the duck. There is no reason to buy a second ghost axe this early. Let's mm, re-roll, because I'm gonna find another one. Here we go, ghost flint, and let us go. Mm. Now, we already have lost stats, which is really bad. And we're gonna lose even more stats, because we just so happen to roll three different weapons. I'm gonna go the full, a three-wheel suit. That means we're gonna go flint, axe, and scepter. Although I think Scepter is maybe the most important one because max life is the one issue this guy has. So if I could get like six Scepters, it would be awesome. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, just saying. Let's see what we get. 8% damage. You know what? I'm going to roll these into harvesting. Thank you very much. And I found luck there too. Let's buy both of these. No. No. Let's lock him. Roll. Here we go. Go Scepter number two. Let's go. That's good. Let's go. So we're gonna buy the second Ghost Scepter so we can start not... Uh, yeah, I, I need to get all my weapons in the blue. So there is a there is a order in which we will do things. The first and foremost important thing to get is all the weapons blue. I need to have every single weapon be a blue one so that I no longer lose 30% or 15% attack speed and whatnot from all those not blue weapons. The second thing I want to do is get a legendary as fast as possible. It's better to have five weapons and one of them being a legendary than having four weapons and none of them because this guy gets 25% for those. Let's get two armor, very important. Let's get four melee damage, also very important. I have a melee build. Both of these, roll them. Come on, man. Ghost split, let's go. Well, look at our stats. You see our stats, minus 70, minus 75. We're gonna go combine these and combine these. And just like that, we're minus 11 and minus 15. So much better. Projectile pierce, we obviously want that. This is definitely no, let's roll for six. I'm rolling for seven. Okay, let's stop rolling. Let's go. I maybe even should not even roll those. I'm thinking that, man, inflation just destroys so many math issues because it's like uh, better spend your money rolling for seven because later the reroll is gonna cost 55 coins or something crazy. So it just, just inflating just makes everything worse, man. Anyway, it does not allow for a smart play. It just allows for everybody does the same as uh, you definitely want to always spend your money early as it has more value early than late game, which just takes away from the strategy and puts it in the hand of the dev because that's a decision the dev makes. Uh, let's continue looping around 116 coins. Let's go. That's a very good amount. Uh, that's useless and it's cost us two health. Honestly, none of these. This is a guaranteed one. I'm going to get either 10 luck or harvesting. Two armor is also a good choice. I would like to get the 10 luck, but whatever. Harvesting is also good. Uh, let's buy the piercing. Yes, we'd lose two life out of that. We're going to get this and this. We're going to obviously combine the axes. Boom. So we only have one downside. This is one life. No. Go separate purple. Let's go. More trees is also good. Gain more materials from recycling items. No, let's go. I'm not going to spend money. Let's go purple scepter. That's really, really, really lucky. Really lucky and also really good. And now my, pierce, my scepter is pierce. So that means that they theoretically should pay for themselves over time, right? They should slowly start getting kills. And uh, because of the piercing, they should get more kills than they averagely do. And therefore, we should start scaling health faster than we do on average too. Like everything should be better than average because of the piercing we have. As I said, the Trident True build I would like to do is just six scepters. And we already got the purple scepters as if the game listened to me. The game has listened to me. Roll through. I yolo there very heavily, but whatever. I don't think opponents do 5 damage anyway, so we're safe. 9 damage, 16 here. 
Let's go. Crit chance against the end element damage. Lose range. No, I don't want to lose range damage. Six max life is really good for us. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, let's take it to be safe. Attack speed, not really. Roll him, roll him. Crit chance on speed. Let's go. Movement speed. And uh, let's definitely buy the scepter. Boom. Nice. I would really like to find our purple scepter right this moment. Boom. Ghost axe. Nice, but I can't really take it. And I don't want to take it, to be honest. I want to just find our scepter. I want to find a blue item. I could combine these two axes and buy this axe. It's very dangerous and bad. Uh, I will do it, though. Dangerous and bad and stupid, but that's me. Roll him again. Nice fun in our ghost axe. Okay, well, we're going to sell this ghost axe and buy this one when the time comes. I'm just going to skip ahead into getting whatever. Let's, let's actually loop around. Now, this stage here should give us a lot of life. Because we have three scepters, and there are a lot of one-shotty enemies here. So, there is that. And honestly, yeah, I think selling this, the, selling the... I'm thinking about the following. I will either sell... Um, you know what, Let, let's actually go to the shopping phase and we're going to decide. Because maybe the shop's going to reroll into something crazy good. Because I'm thinking, if I find right now uh, a blue, a, a black axe, a common axe... I can combine the axes into blues, and then the blues into purples, and then the purples into a legendary right now. Like from wave 7, we can have our first legendary. Which is going to be really good, obviously. 134 and 27, really decent. Mm, I'm going to say range damage. So, should I try this? I will try this. Well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. We lock these down. I'm gonna say I sell this and buy this. That just gave me stats. Uh, this is gonna combine into a legendary, by the way. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw away this one for the Ghost Flint. Because I want to... I, no, actually, no. I want to go three scepters. I want to go three scepters, one Ghost Flint, and two axes. That's what I actually want. So this is useless. I don't need to lock this down. There is no reason to lock this down. It's so roll for 18. Here, this is good. Three, three max HP. Consumer will have a chance to explode for damage. Whatever, I don't care. Let's go. So now I have one negative, only one, and we're about to get our first legendary. So the moment I get my legendary, I'm gonna gain 25% attack speed and damage, which which the build is a go. After I do that, we we won. How much armor do I have? Minus one. So that means we should be taking like 50,000 damage right now. Six damage. Six. And we need to break all the eggs because if a single one hatches, it's over. It's over. I didn't say the thing you thought I said. Let's continue. There is an egg there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No. Okay, I got one of them at least. Maybe there should be some kind of indication on the map about where the eggs are about to spawn. Or to pop, for that matter. And I can't even one shot the eggs. Man, this is literally the one stage I'm afraid of. If I can get this stage now, we won. I'm I'm really afraid about losing right now, but I'm I'm so sure about winning next turn. Ten alive. I'm going close to get money. 200 coins. Let's go. We begin. Melee damage gets crit chance. I'm gonna say yes to it. No. I lost life by doing that, by the way. Six max life, three life steal. I would like to get some luck. Three range damage, though. And crit chance is also good. Let's go three range damage. By the ghost server, we got our first legendary, and now my stats are in the positives. Do I want XP gain? Not really. Let's get the max life. Found our flint. Did I just roll away the flint? No, 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 no. We said three scepters, two axes, one flint. Because from these stats, attack speed is the most uh, unimportant one. From these stats we're talking about. Because we're gonna get 150% attack speed anyway, right? We need to remember that. We need to remember that we will get 150% attack speed anyway. Now, you might say, but Sift, with attack speed, you can attack faster and... Uh, yeah, yeah, but how much more do you think you need after 150, man? While damage, damage, in my opinion, scales better and is, in general, more important. Uh, I mean, in general, I am an attack speed player. In general, I do enjoy attack speed more than damage. But... Here, I would also say that the flint isn't that good as a weapon anyway. While the axes at least, you know, fling around faster, do more things. We scaled more health. Very nice. By the way, the moment the moment I get one more ghost scepter, or either a blue one or a black one, it doesn't matter, just so that I get rid of one of the, that common one I have in my inventory. The moment I do that, oh man, oh man, we're gonna get even more buffed. Let's go in here. Nice, nice, nice. 205. Here we go. 10 harvesting, 1-9 dodge. Both of these are really good. This is like, how much, what, wait a minute, this is 120 coins. This is 9 dodge. Let's go with 120 coins. Oh, I should have gone for 15 luck. Yeah, 15 luck would be the best one. Found it. Let's get armor and max HP against dodge. That's good. Some G purple would be nice. I'm going to definitely get the lucky duck as I already have it. So there is no downside to it. 
And we're going to also buy this. And we're also going to buy this. And we are so much ready to go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at my stats. 27, 41, 29. And I have one armor, so we no longer take positive damage from that. Let us go. The rerolls are going to give us the money back very fast. Oh, this is such a good wave. This is such a good wave. Wave 9. The best wave in the game. The scale wave. The scale wave. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Oh man, oh man, I'm so happy. We're, we are doing it, boys. We're gonna scale up to 300% and more if possible. If we're lucky enough. If we're powerful enough. If everything enough. We're losing life. I'm yoloing a bit too much. I shouldn't yolo this much. There is no reason to. Especially because this is the best wave for us. And after this wave, we're gonna be... Oh, no, 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 no. Zigzag around. Zigzag around. There is, by the way, a mode you can play in this game official where you can target where you're attacking. And I think with some builds, it's better. With melee builds, I wouldn't really assume it's better. But with range builds, I think it would be better. I don't know. Maybe I could play that too. Sniper mode or whatever. I'm dodging. And I'm reoloing. 47 life. Let's go. Speed against luck. Definitely no. I would like to get 15 luck. Let's go. 9 max HP. Although that was useless. Ghost Flint. Buy them and combine them. Would I like to get more Ghost Lens? No, I really think the Triple Ghost Scepter is the play. Yeah, I really think so. Roll him. Yep. And now I can... Theoretically... No, I can still not combine. Luck against... Yes. Luck is so important. Range and speed against Elemental. Yes. Ghost Flank. Yes. 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 And I can combine these if I want to. Let's go. I, I, I pretty much got my second Legendary already. Although I'm gonna actually create it after I find another blue weapon, right? If I find another blue ghost flint, if I find another blue uh, wand stuff, whatever, another blue axe, it doesn't matter. If I find any other weapon, I will combine those two blue purple axes into a legendary. Although I said that, in my opinion, five weapons and a legendary is better than six weapons and not a legendary. I'm gonna think about it. Let's actually get into the next wave and we're gonna see. And at this point, we're scaling health so fast that I'm super safe. I no longer feel any pressure. I mean, look at this. We're with the 62, 63. Now, I don't have a lot of healing. If anything, I don't have healing. But uh, that, that can also be fixed. I mean, I, I have healing through luck. But the thing is that I haven't buffed that healing at all. Yeah, that's why I'm low life right now. I'm, I mean, I'm not low life. I have 50, but you know what I mean. Let's run into that mass. Smack him all. Uh oh Panic, 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 panic. Okay, we're alive. <laughs> 113 coins. 10 harvesting or 9 speed. Both of these really good. I'm gonna say harvesting, 100 coins. Nah, let's go 9 speed. Here is a ghost flint. And the ghost axe. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna buy the ghost axe. Boom. I'm gonna combine the ghost axe. Right. Here we go. Combine these. Got a the legendary. Boom. Look at the stats. 80 and 57. Buy this. Buy this. They're not just even buy this, but nah. This is... Less healing from consumables. Not really. <laughs> and now Ghost Flint. And we also found the Santa Mido. Nice. Now we will have healing. 8 HP regen. And another Ghost Flint. Uh, Ghost Scepter which can combine here. So. Ooh, man oh man oh man oh man oh man. And then I also have another two Ghost Scepters lined up for leveling. It's, we're scaling. It's happening. It's happening. And my armor is at. 1. I take full damage pretty much. I mean full damage other than that one armor we have. But you know full damage. <laughs> How much is full damage, by the way? I want to get hit here once. 17! Okay, that is really not good. And I shouldn't even have tested it. 17 damage is a lot. This is very dangerous. Man, not having armor is so bad. I need to fix my armor, obviously. I need to get, you know, the classic amount of 20 armor that I always preach is important. I also have dodge. So we do have mitigation. It's not like we have zero mitigation. And I also have luck for money. But other than those... Uh, not for money, for healing is what I meant to say. Luck for healing. But other than those two... Oh man, oh man. Maybe I should go closer. It doesn't feel like my crazy attack speed is getting valued that much. 3, 2, 1. Nice. 400 coins and 82 life. Let's go on that, yes. 10 luck, I'm gonna say yes. I didn't have a scar, so we just lost a bit of max life. Who cares? Buy a ghost scepter. Buy a tomato. Do I want harvest? No. A ghost axe purple, let's go... Wait. I'm gonna throw away the ghost flint. Yeah, because as I said, axe are better than ghost flints. And... Yeah, I, I really think axe are better than ghost flints. 
So th does that do more damage? This is 31. Yeah, this is 31 damage. This is 54. This has more base damage. So let's throw it out. And this has 0.73 attacks. Yeah, that other one has less. Let's go. Let's roll them. Shackles. This is new. Unique. HP regen crazy. Engineering crazy and range crazy. But uh, you lose speed. I mean, you cannot go above 25 speed. Mm, not really. Let's keep the money. Let's go. Okay, we got an easy f stage, I think. And the elite is also easy-ish. 17! Oh, we're dead. I need my healing right now. And my vampirism. Okay, as far as I know, this is not going down. Like, this elite is straight. I'm not dying. Not in this fight, at least. Oh, yeah. This is just not going down. Got him at half-life. I mean, this is going decent if it wasn't for all the other random mobs that are around here and are and, and, and anxiety inducing. Now, this moment, the moment this thing dies, it's gonna fully heal us, so I shouldn't really be that afraid. But I am afraid. Come on. Yes. Okay, we got the legendary item. Let's go. That's five max life, by the way, alongside the fact that it's a legendary item. If I pick it up, though, if I pick it up, let's hope it is. I don't know what I would hope. You know what? No, Retromation's item. If, if it's Retromation's item, it's godlike. Otherwise, I guess mine. I don't know. Repost. Two melee damage, which is good because we're half a melee build. And then Harmson chance to deal 30 damage when I dodge. Really good. This is new. Bloody hand. Unique. I never have said had that. 12 damage. Lifesteal. Two da plus 2% damage for every one lifesteal. You take one damage per second. I'm okay with this. We take 12 lifesteal. 15 luck. Let's go. We continue with that stupid idea. A bait. Let's buy a bait. It's gonna special enemy summon, but 8% damage for the rest of the game pretty much. Dodge and armor. Lose a bit of max life. Who cares? Roll them. Ghost axe. Blue. Useless. Yeah. Useless. I need to find straight up purple right away. We cannot combine into combine. I could... Oh, it's not useless. I'm gonna buy the ghost scepter. Buy this. And uh, if I find a blue one, I'm gonna combine them into pur purple. Yeah. Stop giving ghost lands. One HP regen for each tier one item you have. And lose HP for each tier four, though. How about no? 3D coins, might as well. Here we go. Found this and this. Both of them really good. Let's go. Let's go. And we got even more stats. And now I have lifesteal. While also having... Uh, I take one damage per second, pretty much. But it's okay, because now I have 12 lifesteal. So we're definitely healing faster than we're losing. And also, let's not forget, I have the tomato. So we start at half health. If I ever not go full health, that means we have lost. That means we have lost uh, because of tomato. If I never go full life, if I go full life at least for one second, then that means the tomato had no downside for us other than the anxiety. But the anxiety is not a real downside. The real downside is getting hit and dying. And at this point, I got to full life. So at this point, I wouldn't say the tomato mattered at all. No, see, if you didn't get to max life, yeah, because I just dive, dove into the opponents there. And, you know, it's almost as if it was Lux Life. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this. Madness. Madness. This is Sparta. We won. And I'm, I'm even yoling in the middle of everything. Because now I have my armor. 17. <laughs> and I have my dodge. I don't want this. It's going to cost life. Max health. Uh, lose life, though. I'm okay with losing a bit of life. Not max HP. Not really. Real metal damage. Not really. Here we go for high life steal, which also gives us damage, right? Doesn't does not give us damage for life steal? Yes, for life steal then. Another rest in this. Once again, we already have the duck, so it's not costing us anything. In our duck, let's go. And uh, yes, yes, we got our legendary. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna take this as my range is already too much. I'm gonna definitely go with melee damage, and we're gonna go for a horde stage, which is exactly what this character wants. What's my life HP region by the way? One every zero point ninety two. So my HP region already a hundred percent contracts. The downside of that item. 100% contract that item. Because the item is one uh, lose one life every one, and I'm healing every 0 0.8. So we literally have no downside on the item. I mean, we do have a downside that we no longer have lifesteal <laughs> HP regen. Like, it, it's contracting my HP regen. I start with... I didn't know with how much life I'm... I started, let's say, 120. And let's see how much I'm going to have at the end of this wave. Well, I'm yoling a bit too heavy here. Yeah, I'm definitely yoling a bit too heavy. But it's Okay. Let's go sideways and around. Let's go. There is also an HP regen legendary. That is, like, I think health potion. If you're half life and less, your regen doubles. That would be crazy for us. Look at this. 
This is maybe the only one I'm okay with a horde stage. This is maybe the only one I'm okay with a horde stage. If if the level, if the previous elite fight was the horde stage, it would have been so bad. But because it was also on three seconds. Wow. Harvesting but lose damage. Yes. Melee damage but lose range damage. No. No for that. Melee damage armor. Let's try to get a bit more. Ah, let's get three lifesteal. Six dodge. What's my dodge at? It's not maxed. We go for the dodge then. Let's range. More stats. Roll them. Now my dodge is maxed. Let's get money out of drops. My damage is at 100%. My attacks are at 125%. Uh, killing trees gives us NG turrets. This is useless. Alloy. A little bit of everything, but lose a little bit for dodge. I think this is good. This is also good. Healing from consumables is really good. Let's take this and lock that on. 28. Ooh, here we go. Three max life and also when finding food explode. Based on my life explode, by the way, which guess what? My life is insane and we're gonna become even crazier. And I should go for alien eyes if I find them. Because at this point we have scaled everything. We have scaled everything. I just need to find one more blue axe. And then one more ghost scepter. If I find one more blue axe, or a purple for that matter. But I'm saying blue so I don't have to pay a million. So if I find one more blue axe, I'm going to combine all the axes into another legendary. And then one last ghost scepter. So we're going to be three ghost scepters, two axes, one flint. I think that is the play. Let's destroy him. We're doing 110 plus damage. I, I would... Uh, you know what? I need to get base damage, man. I need to increase my base damage. I need to get plus melee damage. Plus six or plus four from level ups. And maybe plus three or plus four from... I mean, plus four range damage is very, very rare as that, that's legendary. So I would also like to get some plus range damage though. Plus three or plus two. Even plus two is decent. Man, the piercing is actually helping. I would hope I will get another piercing on the scepter. Yes, crit chance and on crit heal. Very good. My crit chance is boiled up for armor. Perfect. I have 1% crit chance. So I have 1% chance to heal for three. But these things have base build in crit chance, right? 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 Yeah, four crit chance. Let's go 4% chance to get what I need. HP region, engineering range. Not really. Let's take that. Roll them. Here we go. We found the blue ghost axe. Exactly like requested. And let's go with another crit chance and another chance to heal. Uh, range damage, damage, range, and lose attacks with a crit chance and gain 5 health. Let's take this guaranteed. And 25% chance to do 125% damage. Really, really good too. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I mean, I am a luck build after all. 120 to 124 damage there on the crit. And 40% chance of the crits are healed. So we are going to become super, super healing in a moment. We will lose crit chance, by the way, because of that legendary I locked in. I should also run in close to opponents. Because it's not all about max life. It's also about getting crit uh, attack speed and damage. So we need to run in. Man, I, I don't think we're going to lose. We have crazy, crazy dodge chance. 52% dodge chance and 42% damage taken. Like, what can kill us? Look how fast we heal. You see how these chunks are going on? Yeah, I am getting hit, whatever. But we're healing crazily fast. We're gaining stats crazily fast. We're scaling crazily fast. Now I just need to find two more legendary weapons. I'm going to be getting another 50% attack speed and damage. Which at this point we have so much more that the legendary weapons don't even matter. But you know, why not? A hunting trophy would also be nice, by the way. We get some coins. Oh, let's run over the corner. No. Two boxes means 3D coins, right? Harvesting against enemies. Not really. Definitely not. This is guaranteed purple, so I'm going to say luck. Or three armor. Let's go three armor. We found the alien eyes. Let's go with 196 damage, whatever. Yes. Yes on that, yes on that, roll him. Oh, ghost and legendary, let's go. I'm gonna definitely buy this. And we're gonna combine these and we're gonna be done. The build is gonna be ready. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, hey, look, it's an alien. It's an alien. And I'm life stealing crazy fast. So we should be able to survive. And now this is the pattern where you run close to it. You think you're supposed to run away from it, but no, you're actually supposed to run close to it. And I'm full life because the elites always drop a full life item. I think it's just a 100 heal item, but same thing. Same difference. Same difference. I'm obviously going to go endless mode. This 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 guy is scaling into endless mode very well and very crazily. I did get some message on my phone, though, so I will need to do a small pause. If you enjoy what you're seeing up to this point, maybe drop a like or subscribe to the channel. It helps out really a lot. I'm saying it at the end most of the time, but I might as well say it here. Let's continue destroying opponents. What's if you never said that in the middle of the video? I hate you. <laughs> Let's go into destroying all the opponents. With my good old bouncy eyes. Good thing I didn't get the triangle of power, by the way. Because that would kill us completely. And let's go on destroying opponents. And laser beaming them. 
and gaining more max life, 187. We're making everything better. They had another one of these, but this is not a different item, so it's gonna give us less stats. But 5 range damage is so good. 2 range damage, 60 range, not really, we have so much range already. 12 dodge, let's go fixing our dodge, harm percent Range and speed. I could buy this. First of all, combine and buy. I don't care about this though. My range is decent enough. My speed is... I can increase my speed though. Let's roll for zero. Torture, let's lose the game on purpose. He <laughs> 4 healing per second. 3 max life and consumables have a chance to explode for 769 damage. Let's roll for 25. Here we go, repost. Another harm percent chance damage. This is not unique by the way. You can get this as many times and then every time you dodge everything just dies. My crit chance, nothing. I could buy this too. But get even more nothing. Care about the armor more. Let's buy this too. Let's buy all three of these. I'm losing life. Oh no. What shall I possibly do? I got six legendaries. Well, I got... At the end of the day, the game decided to do the classic 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. I didn't want to do the 2-2-2, two, two, and two, but... Might as well, you know. Might as well. If given the chance. Might as well. <laughs> the enemy was there in the corner. Let's not forget that every time I kill something, there was a 50, I think, chance. Or 25. I'm not sure if I got the item twice. That's why I'm sinking 50 or 25. I think I only have that in once. So 25% chance to that something else also dies. Because I have so much luck that that just happens. So in that vein, if I get that item two or three more times... Yeah, if I get that item three times, everything when I kill one thing, the whole map will die. As long as I get that item three or four times. Unless it rolls. Unless it's like four times chance to roll and it's not just straight up 100% chance to trigger. So it's it depends on how it's, it was coded. On how that exactly works. Rolling around at the speed of a sound because I'm running pretty fast, but we're going to be running even faster. Damage and range, not really. Attacks with crit chance and whatever, we're going to say 3 region, yes. None of these. Six dodges, nah. Roll with it. Oh, no crit chance, nice. Yes and yes. Uh, change of plan on this. Change of plan because now I'm crit build, actually. Roll them. 25% damage against elites and whatever, no. Uh, none of these either, 27, roll them. None of all of these. None of all of these. I will buy this, though. Dodge. My dodge is maxed out. I'm just gonna lose range. I don't need that. Let's go. Da -da -da. Because range is good for us. As if you have crazy, crazy attack speed, then range is really, really good. You definitely want range if you have crazy attack speed. And we do have crazy attack speed, so range we definitely want. Not only because we have ranged weapons that can use the attack speed, but even our melee weapons are almost functioning like ranged weapons when you have a lot of attack, when you have a lot of range. So... You need attack speed to counteract that aspect, as the melee weapon flies out and then comes back. But if you have a lot of attack speed, it flies out and comes back a bit faster. So there is that, I guess. Let's continue looping around. Although obviously, the more uh, the less range you have, the more uh, the crazy attack speed applies on the weapons. Like if you have negative attack speed and you get crazy a negative range and you get crazy attack speed with melee weapons, it's gonna be like or almost looks like a machine gun. Let's continue. By the way, there are legendary weapons, which I'm not finding for some reason. I haven't found a single one yet. Continue scaling health and damage and everything else. Will we ever die? Who knows? Oh, here we go. Chance to deal damage. And when you pick up material, definitely take. Three rolls, yes. Roll these. Roll them. And speed, yes. Panda, even more luck and max health. And we lose nothing because that damage is a joke amount. Shackles, stop getting movement speed. Nope. I have a cake, right? Ah, oh, whatever. I just want to find specific things. None of the ah, I'm, I can buy this. For more money. Peacock. For XP gain. But maybe lose the game. I'm gonna definitely buy Peacock for XP gain. Let's go endless, obviously. We're not gonna not go endless with an infinite scaling build. Imagine if we lose before the endless even starts. That could happen. It's not like we don't take damage. It's just that we heal a lot and we do a lot. Not like we, we are a tank. Fully healed because of the boss just died. And fully healed because of the boss just died. But let's go. And now we're fighting Bates. Because that's what appears after you win once. I mean, after you beat the bosses, they literally Bates start appearing. Destroy everything by looping around. Like the speed of the sound, like I am. I really like that we have a lot of movement speed. I did also check my phone, like just like now. When I was doing do 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 that was when I was checking my phone. I'm not normally checking my phone when I do 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 but whatever. Let's continue destroying everything. And we even have 500 coins for the next buying phase. By the way, I think at about wave 30 to 50, 40, uh, between 30 and 40, the opponents should scale so much that every hit they do to us is going to be like 40 damage or something crazy. So all my scaling is going to go to bin, but whatever. Melee damage and range damage. Losing armor speed, definite, yes. 
damage, but lose attack speed for every different weapon we have. Also, definitely, yes. I mean, this is so much money, but this is straight up 30% damage for 9% attack speed. That's what this is. And I don't need this. I'm going to get money. It would give us 5 max life, by the way. In case you're like, oh no, safety is legendary. Yeah, it's just 5 max life. It, it's irrelevant. So let's go with this, guaranteed. I want XP gain and maybe die randomly. I could go for the second Ghost Scepter. Like, I could throw away the Flint and go for the Ghost Scepter. But at this point, no. Another rest, yes. Even more defense. Adrenaline. Dodge and chance to heal when you dodge. Very good. Coupon. Cheaper money. And this thing does not work. So I don't even know what it appears after wave 20, but whatever. Now that's Snail, yes. And let's go. Snail's good. Let's go. Opponents move slower now. I would like to get as many alien eyes as possible. I would also like to get as many of those when you kill an opponent, he explodes and somebody else dies as possible. That would be the best. And I guess I would like to also get my relic. I'm going to start buying all the common items that I haven't bought yet. So I start gaining those stats slowly. Because there is like a, the monkey item that says every time you pick up food, you heal. That's going to be important. Picking up things in general is going to be important. So I'm going to say maybe crocodiles if I don't find my legendary. Although I'm most likely going to find my legendary as I have a lot of luck. And we are so much in the late game that a lot of legendary should appear. Now the best legendary I could possibly get would be the anvil. Or or uh, grinds leaf. That's also really, really, really busted. Because he has like a scaling thing. Which is really good. Maybe we should also request scaling items from here on out. Very completely useless for us. Lose uh, 8 HP regen for and gate 8 HP regen at the same time. <laughs> the armor, yes. 20 luck, definitely, yes. None of these, honestly. Repost guaranteed. And our ghost scepter is not up. Piercing does more damage, yes. Panda and our panda, yes. That's luck. And luck is important for us. Roll for 41. Give the attack speed to my turrets. Let's go, yes. I mean, I don't have turrets. But I can buy turrets now that I have this much attack speed. Whoa, crazy game. Chill, boys. You don't have us, but, you know, chill, boys. You do not got us, but... Yep, give me the item. And you also give me the item. Very nice. Uh, very nice. That's even more money. And even more money again. First of all, it's more money because we have the bags that give us money on pickup. And then it's also more money because I can sell whatever appears. Or I'm going to use whatever appears. Which practically is also money because you get free items, right? And the items are money in their own vein. Continue smacking everything with my laser guns. 285 life. I start feeling that the Rotten Tomato is going to actually kill us. Because we will always start with Half-Life for the rest of the game. But it's okay. The region it gave us is still with us, and it is still healing us from that one damage we take every turn, pretty much. Also, we're going to lose all of our uh, harvesting in a moment, but that's also pretty irrelevant. Yeah, minus 17 again, 66, nope, that's money, 51, as I said. Alien eyes, let's go, let's go. Sunglass crit chance against armor, yes. Lag against damage, yes. And uh, yes, roll them. Ooh, and I'll go separate legendary. I could do what I said and throw away the flint, but no, at this point, I do enjoy what we have going on. And I'm going to buy another peacock. Because I'm flexing, man. I'm flexing. Here we go. Retromation so the 150% attack speed right here. Really good, really good. Now I need to fix my range. So right now I should get crazy, crazy XP. But let's hope I'm not gonna die before that happens. Also, I'm taking... Yeah, I'm only taking one damage from the tick, so that's good. Should I test? Dodged. Good test, good test. That went well. Imagine if I get hit and it's like 150 damage. <laughs> I would like to see a shot in the air to go and gather a shot up. I don't want to touch him. Whoa, 22 damage on the range attack. That means melee attacks do 44. Unless that is not how the game plays. But as far as I remember, every time my melee attack was some... Yeah, the range attack seemed to be half damage. Or maybe 30% less damage. I don't know. Let's destroy opponents. I might be even wrong about this, by the way. Which, in case I am wrong, just comment down below and tell me about it. It's really good to know. Always, 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 always... Fix my mistakes. As long as you're not trash talking, right? As long as it's like, no, sift, stupid man. I mean, you can tell me blind. I even have emojis for that, so definitely call me blind. Let's go. With him. Nope. That's, uh, that's something I already have, right? No, that's something I didn't take because consumer recovery items. No, that's money. Oh, let's go wisdom. After the first four, five, after the 20 seconds, it starts giving us damage. Crit chance against armor. Yes. Harvesting 10. Useless, by the way. 
So I would say 60 range. And here I would say, what's my range damage? 22. For a chance. Now I can find better things and move speed. I'm gonna say we go for... Whoa, yes. So first of all, Retromation is really guaranteed. Because 150% attack speed. And we're gonna buy one max HP for every permanent armor you have. So this is plus 16 max HP. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke, man. Why would I buy this? Roll them. Roll them. And that's it. I'm not gonna roll anymore. Let's go for a double elite fight. 162 life. How much was that damage? Didn't see how much damage those guys did. I have a lot of lifesteal in general, so we should be safe-ish. For 30 damage. Okay, not, not safe. Not, not safe. Safe-ish was the correct wording there. Chase this guy down. This guy always avoids, but bye-bye. Have a great time. Now we continue. Now with Retromation Sweaty here, being able to attack like crazy with 358 attack speed. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't even know when we're gonna lose. Although I'm pretty sure the opponents are gonna scale pretty fast. It would be nice if we could have an indication as to what is happening per wave. I would really like that. I would really like it if it said... 10% more damage, and then at wave 30 it said 20% more damage, and then at wave 30 it said 40% more damage, like, and then the opponents are scaling like 30% damage each wave, 40% damage each wave, 50% damage each wave, like, I, I really would like to see exactly what is happening behind the hood, I would really like to see exactly, uh, word for word, I, I said the same thing twice, I'll explain more, here we go, free, like, raw rolls, raw rolls, uh, harvesting is useless, attack speed is good, and crit chance also good, luck though is important, Okay, once again, we found this again. Explosion size, might as well. We have explosives. Roll them. Uh, 8 max HP, no. Bait, let's go. And HP regen like crazy. Lose a bit of luck for it. 2 HP regen every 5 seconds. Wow, that's really good. We're gonna go with bait though. And let's go. Roll them for 0. I would like to get even more luck. And I would also like to get even more melee damage. Although I already have a lot of melee damage. Yeah, let's go with even more luck. 5 damage is a joke, obviously with this and i should also invest into engineering and stuff if i can do so because we have attacks on my engineering things okay this is a bait wave well bait's dead yeah over there at the bottom right corner and well i wanted to explain exactly what i meant but i'm gonna explain in a moment again i'm gonna be a bit late again on explaining destroy everybody with lasers hey look it's tentacles get it <laughs> The joke being that, hey, look, it's tentacles. <laughs> That's the joke. There is no joke. Let's go. Let's go. I'm having fun. The character is busted. And I love what we have built up. And I also enjoy that we have the sad tomato that starts us with half health. This uh, makes the game more panic-inducing. More anxiety-inducing. Now that I said panic, by the way, I'm opening up a merchandise shop. There is going to be a panic panic uh, t-shirt. So keep an eye out for that. So it's going to happen one of these days. One of these days. I mean, the shop is almost ready and set up. I'm just thinking, should I? The thing is that I need to wait for the merchandise for, for me for testing, so I'm sure about it. But should I wait for that or should I just launch the game and whoever wants to risk risks? Let's go to attack speed. Luck. Let's go with medkit, obviously. Let's go with luck. This here is 16% attack speed, by the way, but I'm going to keep the armor because we're going to get one shot at some point. Baby with a beard, lose all your range, but gain million projectiles. Yes, why not? 92 damage per enemy died. What is this? Two luck for every worms and crit chance. Guaranteed, yes. Crit hits deal 10% of the enemy health. Guaranteed, yes. And piercing is even more. Well, how much does this do? Minus 40% of the pierce. We'll definitely buy all of these. And uh, we roll for zero. Boom. And again, boom. And again, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hope I'm gonna get enough money for all of those that I opened up in the shop, but whatever. Lucky coin is cool. Luck for each crit chance. Now I'm gonna go full on crit chance build. I'm saying crit chance. Everything into crit chance. Oh, let's go. I mean, there are some items that give you a lot of crit, I think. Are there? Yeah, there are some items that give you like 15 or 20%. 20, I'm not sure. 15 for sure, but 20, I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's continue looping around. I have not found uh, Grind's Leaf yet, and I also have not found the Anvil. Because those two are by far the most important. And in case you don't know, uh, Anvil gives you two armor every end of turn. So that's insane, obviously. And then uh, uh, Grand's Leaf gives you three life and one HP regen and one life steal every turn. I think. I'm pretty sure about the HP and the li and the regen, but I'm not sure about the life steal. I'm not sure if the Grand's Leaf gives you also life steal. He got like a super duper scaling item. So awesome for you, man. Oh, by the way, if you somehow happen to watch this video, comment down below, don't know about it. Yeah, I'm here, saved. I'm watching you once every five years. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but it doesn't matter. Uh, lifesteal against more enemies. Definitely, yes. 
damage against range. Mm, not really. 112 guns is really good. Let's go to armor, I would say. I'm going to say we begin with the luck first. 60. And then uh, we we buy the piercing. Roll for zero. R roll. I would like to pick up range. Rolls for zero. Two whole robot armor. Let's go. Six armor. Lose a couple of defensive traits, but whatever. But whatever. Six armor is more important. Contracting the enemy scaling is more important than being able to heal a smidge. And I'm waiting for the hit to come in and be like 50 damage. You know what? Let's actually get hit from a projectile if I can do so. Or run in the opponents. I have 300 life almost. It's a bit hard to see the number pop up. You might have already seen it, but I haven't. Let's also not forget that every time I dodge, the opponent gets hit like three, two times. My melee damage. Ah, there were some baits there. I could have let them shoot. I mean, we're dodging so, so much. And letting them shoot is not going to change anything about the fact that we're not getting even hit. Ah, we take about 50 damage. About 50. So that means at wave 40, we should be toast. I'm assuming that at wave 40, the opponents are going to be doing 100 damage. Oh, I also forgot again, again, again to showcase what I want. I'm going to showcase this time. I'm going to remember. I'm going to showcase it at the moment. Like, I'm going to explain the moment I go into the shop. I don't want that. Arsene against damage. I mean, this is money, but this is money anyway. Luck. Always luck. Yeah, luck. So here. Here, over here, it could say... Uh, before you press the go way, because in this line, it's these elites, right? So over here, it could say plus 30% damage, plus 30% more enemies. And then plus 50, plus 50, plus 100, plus 100. Or, you know, plus 50% health, damage, and more enemies. And then again, up, 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 up. And then every go wave, it just increases and increases. And you can see the stats here. That's what I would like to see. I'm going to say we go with the legendary. I'm going to say we go with explosion size. I'm going to say we go with none of the other two. Roll them. Roll them. Vigilante reading, might as well. Nah. 3% damage per wave. What, 300? Roll him. Crown, let's go. <laughs> uh, increase the. <laughs> this is useless. Let's go. Uh, let's begin. 200 life. And I'm gonna get hit for. These are elites. Bruh. Bruh. I, I don't even need to move, man. You're not gonna do anything to me. Not only am I not gonna move, I'm gonna stick on you. And you died before. Whoa, 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 chill, chill. Let's not lose on purpose like I had done the other two times. Let's not lose on purpose. <laughs> I mean, I didn't actually lose on purpose. I just always miscalculate how safe I am and I just go ahead and lose on... Well, it looks like I'm losing on purpose. I hate losing on purpose. I do enjoy doing specific stuff that might lead to a loss on purpose, but I'm not enjoying losing on purpose. Like, I do enjoy taking bad decisions and then being like, and if we lose, we lose. Like, I do enjoy doing that, but I don't enjoy being like, okay, let's let's die. Let's just end this. Like, that, that, that's not something I tend to do. Uh, but the other one I do very, very often. I really, really often am like, let's play around with joke ideas and lose because the idea is a joke. Armor and well standing still, not really... Quit chance 15%, I told you, and and this is 3D luck, by the way. I take this in a heartbeat. Six melee damage, I would say no. Three range damage, also decent, but no. Two armor, two armor is important. Robot armor, even more armor. Baby with a beard, destroying everything. Life still against harvest, yes, harvest is about to run out anyway. Roll him. Range damage, attack speed against damage, definitely yes. And chance to attract things and a bit of range, yes. Go separate from legendary again. Potato, we buy this guaranteed, it gives every stat in the game. And we still don't want this. Let's go. Let's go. We're getting all the legendaries, but we're not getting a grind's leaf or or the or the anvil, which uh, that, that's gonna that's gonna get us at the end. Wave 3D, by the way. I want to see what happens at wave 3D. To be honest, I'm assuming we're gonna fight the final bosses again. That's my assumption. My assumption might be right, might be wrong. We're gonna see. We are scaling into the late game with the late game king, which by the way at this point is a steampunk guy for some reason. Steampunk it is, my dude. Steampunk it is. Destroyer, we're doing 500 something damage. It would be nice if I could have a hunting trophy that would really, really be helpful for maintaining infinite money potential. The chance of us getting a hunting trophy is pretty slim because actually there is no reason to. I'm just going to say it's slim. Because that's why I say, and if I find a single hunting trophy before the game is over, then nice. I think you need to have a lot of crit chance to get a hunting trophy, but I already have a decent amount of crit chance. Yeah, I already have like 55. Let's go, another peacock. 
Range against attack speed, yes. We buy all of these. This one first, this one second. This one's a garden, not really. The garden is every five seconds. Ooh, yes, because we have the uh, attack speed works on my pets. Lose range and pick up range. Yes. Melee damage 10. Elemental damage is useless. My range is already positive and pick up range is irrelevant. Wings. Even more movement speed and range. Not really. Okay, let's go. I continue picking up. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's three bosses. Two bosses. No, one elite and the, and, and the final bosses, both of them. Whoop. I might lose here, by the way, because I haven't even healed up the amount that the thing takes away. I haven't healed the... I haven't hit full life yet once. I'm below half. I have never gone above half from the start of the run. 250. I'm taking about 50 damage. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, if one of these three is dead, we good. That guy's toast. Nice. This guy's toast. Oh, we're dying. We're actually dying. Panic, 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 panic. 62, 71. Come on, get rid of this one. Yes. Yes. This guy's easy. This guy's easy. I'm still alive. Why is he running so fast though? Got him. And I'm full life now. Let's go. Let's go. Almost died, but we got this. I'm telling you, we're dying between 30 and 40. Exactly like predicted. Between 30 and 40, we're gonna get toasted. It's like opponents are not robbing us many Here we go. Hunting trophy. 30% chance to get a mat. This... This got nerfed so hard, man. This used to be 100% chance to gain one mat when killing an enemy with a crit. Then it became 50. Now it's 33. <laughs> uh, let's take it, obviously. Yes on that. Life still against level damage. Yes, I'm gonna lose too much life. Who cares? Lose crit chance and gain these stats. I would say no. Crit chance is a build now. 3 HP region, not really that crazy good. Using also not really that crazy good. 10 harvesting. <laughs> and luck. No. 16, no. 3 armor is a yes. And I spend all my money on those rerolls. Well, this is not that good. This is also not that important. This is 10 melee damage. No, this is actually important. I have 27. This is like 40% damage. Hold on. Piggy bank, useless. Oh no, the crack line. No, I wanted that. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. Another elite stage. Triple elite. Again. Oh man, oh man. I really enjoy how the game is really, really, really cranking up everything. And I think opponents are also moving faster. That's what it feels like. Well, the good thing is I'm also doing crazy damage, so it doesn't matter what it feels like. Zip, you want to be close to me? Oh, 121 life. Panic time. Panic, panic. I like how we're just continually scale from fight to fight. You're toast, you're toast, and you're toast. Nice, got them all. Very nice. Another triple item. Getting Also getting money out of these triple quadruple items is good too. That's pretty important. I'm really happy that I'm not finding any more horde stages and only lead after lead after lead. Game's just becoming better and better. And these have such a high chance of becoming legendaries because I have so much luck. And we're gaining so much money out of the crits. Whew, everything is lining up completely correctly. And I really enjoy that I found a hunting trophy exactly, I don't know, five minutes after I said I wanted a hunting trophy. Fertilizer against melee damage. No. No defense the first damage hit. Might as well, whatever. Yes, a turret. Guaranteed a turret. Damage against armor. Definitely not. <laughs> Lose the game on the spot is that. Roll these. Roll them. Six minute damage. Might as well. Yes to this and this. Roll them. We want turrets, as I said. Yes, that's what I wanted. I mean, it's not that crazy. It's just 57 damage while we have 300 plus. Roll them and roll them. Here we go, spider. Attack speed and damage. Lose harvesting and dodge. Well, dodge is also maxed out. Attack speed is 18, damage 12. This is so weak. This is so weak. I'm not gonna buy this. It's It's weak. Nullified. I forgot that we had the item that does one damage to us every turn. So that is useless. <laughs> that is useless. I would like to get lifesteal now that I think about it. I would like to get guaranteed lifesteal. More lifesteal. Yeah, actually, lifesteal is the best way to go to because HP regen, we're healing two per second at this point. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, we're healing five every two seconds is more specific. We're healing five every two seconds. But lifesteal. We can heal up to 10 per second, which isn't also that crazy, but still it's something. And then we also have the healing from the items on the ground, obviously, which also I would say we need to increase in strength. I would like to get a couple more crocodiles, by the way, as I'm not seeing us get my own relic, which would be nice, but it's going to cost us like 10,000 or something, and it's also not going to provide us with anything of real value. So there's that I get, I guess. 
You know, I think I should I think I should apply for my relic getting something bonus like XP or something. I don't know. <laughs> right now it, it seems like it's mediocre. Uh, you know what? 82 coins is better than these stats. Armor and engineering. I'm gonna say yes on that. Yes on this and this. And we continue with this idea and also this idea. Roll them. More trees. I would say yes with so much luck. Damage and lifesteal. Yes on that too. And we cannot roll anymore. I'm just saying yes on everything I find, man. No levide. Because I want lifesteal is why that last one is a yes. Because at this point, we really, really, really need healing. To be honest, the best thing we could get, as I previously stated, would be the healing potion. As I start with half health, and it's going to heal us pretty fast at half health. I'm not sure if there is something better than that. Maybe they should add an item that says, Vampirism no longer has a cap on how much it can heal you. Because right now it's like 10%. And if you had that, it doesn't have like some super vamp vampire fan. Gives you 10 vampirism, and vampirism has no longer a cap of how fast it can heal you. Something like that. Or, you know what? Vampirism fang. You, um... Uh, 30 vampirism. 30% vampirism. Vampirism no longer has a, a rate that it stops healing you. And, and, last but not least, you can no longer heal from region or something. Hmm? Or maybe lose 20 region. Hmm? Something like that could be uh, the case. Anyway, 500 coins, really nice. Burning faster, useless. Damage against attack speed, money. Range, not really. Crit chance, let's go. Uh, yes or no? In this order. I don't care about this, to be honest. Roll him. Roll him. Tentacle, let's go. Chance to heal one on crit, which I'm always guaranteed to crit. 54, 57. I'm not guaranteed to crit, but you know. Definitely by the turret. These things have so crazy attack speed right now. Yeah, look at this one. Look at this one. It's, it's gonna just start popping. Wait, what? Was that it? You're supposed to pop once every five seconds, man. You betrayed me. Why did you betray me like this? Why are you not shooting? Excuse me, do I not have the, the attack speed on the on the everythings? Here it is. 200% cooldown. And aren't you supposed every four seconds? Where is it every four seconds? I guess I'm supposed to pick up all the mass or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe there are there isn't room to spawn? I don't think so. That thing is bugged out. It's supposed to fire every four seconds. You have lied to me game you have lied to me previously i saw that thing put up on the ground 50 of those foods and i just wanted to sit, sit there and see it happen no it's completely bugged out am i supposed to be close to it nope completely bugged i don't know what happened it even on on its own the game says like if it didn't say that it gets the boost then i would say yeah okay the game does not consider the um, a structure but it did get the boost like in the stats it has the 4 cooldown in the stats. Normally it's 15. Normally it's 15 second cooldown, I think. Speed and engineering and crit chance. Nope. I have almost 100% chance to kill something when I... Again, the same thing. Nope. But yes, luck against the end dodge. Lose. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yes with luck, man. I'm yes with luck. Attack speed for every enemy, but lose to armor. Honestly, no armor is what is going to kill us. 70% damage. Uh, heal from healables. Yes. Roll him for zero. Max life, whatever. Roll him for zero. Okay, let's go. And amount of damage and HP reaching and speed. No, let's go. Are we gonna survive this wave? Are we Ooh, look how fast we're getting through that guy? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 200 life. Are we fighting two cooks? We're fighting two cooks. And because they are the same enemy, they're doing the same moves and they're attacking the exact same area. Whoa! Whoa! Yo chill! What yo chill to Okay, we're surviving. Let's bring in close to my turret. Here is the big damage number. Whoa. 50, I'm dead. No, it is what it is. I died at 35. Did I say between 30 and 40? I died at exactly 50. At exactly 35. What did we unlock? Excalibur. <laughs> Legendary Blade. Legendary. If you have more than one, you lose max life. Okay. Okay. I get the idea. 7,000 damage. I mean, no. 200% melee damage and 200% life damage. What an insane weapon i would have liked to have this very run insane and crits to 2.5 times wow and cooldown 0.3 can i compare them to the other ones 0 0.36 0 0.26 0 0.16 okay so this is faster than all my other melee weapons were nice alternates between thrusting and sweeping yeah classic minus three armor for every weapon you have oof oof you're supposed to only have this yeah, but it's also a blade so it could give you melee damage and life so you're supposed to only play with one excalibur and that's it you know who can use this crazy good, right? You know who can use this crazy good. This dude over here, where is this guy? The, the one armed. 
Saber, Gladiator, one armed, one armed. Hello, Doctor Hunter. Here you he use arms. Didn't know them. One armed. You know what? I don't think it matters. There is a crazy. There is a guy that says just general this multi. He's over here. Masochist Nightball. One arm. Here you go. One arm. This guy is an Excalibur character. Excalibur. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, etc. As I said in the middle of the video. And yeah, what an awesome run. What an awesome character. I'm so happy that I died at exactly 35, as if I predicted the middle of it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. As you see, infinite scaling does not make you immune. This game really always kills you in endless. The scaling of the enemies is beyond you being able to go behind them. Unless you play with mods and whatnot. And at that point, you just can break the game anyway. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.